Ah, uh, what's going on people? So we have a test net to get involved with. We have an NFT, a pioneer NFT that we can claim from doing some test net tasks. Genesis Spark NFT that we can mint for performing a couple tasks on the test net. There is a limited amount and it's um, only claim claimable up to March 18th. So this is time sensitive if you want to get this done ASAP before they all get minted. This could work as a multiplier towards the airdrop or it could um, give other rewards. We want to make sure that we definitely get this i'm going to take you through it step by step the project is called satoshi a bitcoin layer 2 project and i'm going to quickly break down what it is so the satoshi protocol serves as a cornerstone for the bitcoin DeFi evolution introducing a cdp style stable coin system built on the bevm this platform enables Bitcoin holders to unlock their assets liquidity without facing unpredictable interest payments, a crucial advancement towards making Bitcoin truly spendable and enhancing its utility beyond a mere store of value. Protocol revolves around two primary components, SAT, a stable coin pegged to the US dollar, and OSHI, a revenue sharing token that benefits participants in the ecosystem. Users can generate liquidity by minting SAT against Bitcoin collateral, ensuring a minimum collateral ratio of 110%. Plus, it allows SAT holders to redeem their collateral through a well-designed redemption mechanism, maintaining the stable, the stable value of SAT. So, um, yeah, I wanted to break that down properly because this has a lot of potential. If it does what it says it's going to do, it will be a big player for sure. Bitcoin layer two projects are going to do the best, I think, in this bull cycle. We definitely do not want to fade this one. To be a bit persistent with doing this test net, it's a little bit a little bit buggy, but um, it's not too hard. So let's get right into it. Okay, so firstly, on the website, connect your wallet. When you connect your wallet, it will prompt up in MetaMask the test net to connect to be able to transact on um, on Satoshi Protocol. So do that first. And then we're going to need to get the testnet tokens. So to get the testnet tokens, you're going to come to the Discord, the BE, BEVM Discord. So this is not Satoshi Protocol's Discord. This is the testnet Discord. And um, yeah, I'm not going to lie. It was a bit buggy trying to get these, these testnet tokens. So they have the four set here. Four set. And what you need to do is slash four set. And then um, click it and paste your address in. When I was trying to do this last night, um, it was not, I kept getting this error that you can see. No, that's not the right error, but I kept getting an error when trying to do this. So what I did is I went to support and I saw people were pasting their address here. So four set, so just type in on the support tab, type in four set, space, paste your address. And then go back to um, click it through and then go back to the four set and then do the four set again. I'm not 100% sure if pasting the address in the support channel first enabled it to work in the actual four set channel. I assume so because once I did that, it then worked straight away. So, um, yeah, do that. If you have any issues, then um, they have a general chat here. But that did work for me. So, Paste in support first, slash four set your address, and then go to the four set, type in four set, slash four set. This will pop up, put your address in there, and you will get the Bitcoin token. Once you've done that, you're going to come back through to the website and you're going to go to position and you're going to deposit a position. So um, it will look a little bit different from this as I've already deposited, but you will, what you're going to do is put in your max amount approve it first and then once approved hit the max again so you're gonna you're gonna deposit your bitcoin and you're gonna borrow some sat tokens you have to borrow a minimum of 18 sat tokens so hit max for the deposit of your bitcoin token and then go into the um sat the um the field for the sat token of how much you can borrow and put in 18 manually and then it will allow you to uh, it will allow you to confirm the transaction. So just make sure you max out the amount of Bitcoin you've got. Go into the SAT field just below, type in 18, and then confirm the transaction, and your position will be done. Once you've done that, go to stability pool, and then you're going to deposit the amount of SAT tokens you've got, which will be 18. Deposit it, and then we will be done with the test it and being able to claim um, that NFT. So once you've done that, go to campaign and mint it okay once we've done all that you're going to come over to their galaxy and there's some points and some oats that we can earn 
So the bottom one, the Satoshi Pioneer, this will be for the testnet transactions that we just did. So um, do all of these are just social tasks. And then the last two here we would have already done, which would be create a position on the testnet and deposit SAP. So you'll be able to claim those points and one out. And then the other one they have available is the second one, the Satoshi testnet launch. Do these um, and get your oat. There is a quiz. There is a quiz and let me try to give you the answers quickly. All right, so question one was C. Question two was C. Question three was all above D. Question four was C. Question five was C. Question six was D. Question seven was A. And then question eight was C. I think that was the right, yep. Yeah. All right, so that's your answers for that quiz. Claim that O and you're good. Okay, and that wraps this one up, people. So even if you come to this a little bit late and all the NFTs have been minted, I would still do those tasks, still do the Galaxy campaign, as you can still get in on a potential airdrop if it comes. It hasn't been fully confirmed yet, but I suspect that they will be doing an airdrop. I think this project has big potential. I can see hype starting to build for it. They have 50K followers on Twitter. It's definitely got some big goals, but if they achieve them, then this project will do very well, I think. So um, yeah, stay persistent, persistent with trying to do this. I kept getting errors also when um when trying to deposit into the stability pool, I got an error like four or five times. I had to keep reloading and then trying to deposit again. And finally it worked. So just stay persistent, trying to get this one done. If you need any help, leave it in the comments. I will get back to you and help you. Like and subscribe to stay up to date with the alpha. Turn those notifications on. And I will see you in the next one.